facing an energy crisis. Energy crisis. Energy crisis. Energy crisis. You know, if you look at all that, you'd be forgiven for thinking the world is in the middle of some kind of energy crisis. The truth is, though, we've never had more access to energy. As long as it's consumed in drink form. And that's just as well. There was a time where if you wanted to do an everyday activity, like backflip on a motorbike or literally plummet to Earth from the edge of space, you had to turn to a strong pot of coffee for support. Or, more likely, just not do that thing at all. Looking sharp, Jeff. <laughs> Classic Jeff. The worldwide energy drink market is worth an estimated $37 billion a year. And in Australia, we're just seeing the tip of that iceberg. Which is a shame, because that iceberg looks like it'd be wicked fun to snowboard down. Even so, we've still got a fair bit of that market. Now, you'll have heard of Red Bull and V and Mother, but if you're just limiting yourself to those drinks, you're really denying yourself the extremitude of some of the online brands. Brands like Crunk. Here's a brand so extreme that the name alone requires three exclamation marks. Let's get a can of Crunk. Thanks. But if Crunk isn't your cup of Crunk, then why not try one with ginseng, or pomegranate, or folic acid, or milk thistle, or horny goat weed, or creatine, or vitamins B3, 9, and 12. Or you could just quit your bitching and try them all at once. But what is it about brands like Red Bull that makes them so extreme? Well, check out these amazing ingredients! No, 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 boring, no! The secret to Red Bull is an ancient and mysterious stimulant known only as caffeine. 80 milligrams of this stuff. Why, that's as much as a cup of coffee or a strong cup of tea. But wait, there's also about six teaspoons of sugar. But wait, there's also taurine. Which, according to these studies, barely has any added effect at all. caffeine is a cup of coffee, then why are the whales are so hell-bent on regulating it? I need some facts. Time to find me a wowser. Where is he? Uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll be soon. I am so sorry I'm late. I was, I was doing a thing and now I'm not doing a thing. And hi, how are you? Ah, uh, good. So, um, we, we were doing uh, a piece on energy drinks and you said that um, they're potentially dangerous. Why would you say that for even? Well, energy drinks contain a significant amount of caffeine. I know. I said that before. I don't know if you saw it. I was on a jet ski. Wow! <laughs> no, I didn't. But um, if you drink energy drinks to, to excess, you can get caffeine toxicity. OK, and what, 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 is that, what does that mean? It can lead to palpitations, tremor, anxiety. It can cause seizures. Yeah, 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 I know seizures, whatever. No one does 12 coffees while partying on a Saturday night. I get it. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Like, it can lead to psychosis in rare cases and even rarer, death. Right, but, but I mean, how, how, how common is sort of overdosing on, 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 on caffeine? It is increasing because of marketing to uh, young people. Mm, stop right there, actually, sorry. Yeah, I've got a report here from the Australian Beverages Association that clearly says, in bold, no less, that energy drinks are not marketed at children. If you can think of anything that children hate more than BMX bikes or women in bikinis, I'd like to see it. Yes! Yes, but, you know, young adults and teenagers are attracted to these drinks. I'm sorry, I have no memory of the last 30 seconds. How many of these have you had today? 11? That's not a number. Thanks for your time. <laughs> and despite what the experts say, whatever that was, the fact remains that these drinks are awesome. Plus, they're a source of energy that's exempt from the carbon tax. And I think we can all rest easy on that.